tell you, I would give anything to get my hands on the cow Drew was saying. Hi. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. You can't come to the house. What's the big deal? What do you think? Belle could have been here. It's Monday. She's got a study group thing. Oh, what's the matter? Well, we're supposed to be keeping this quiet. We're in the middle of your lounge room, alone. I don't think anyone's going to see us. Well, I don't care. From now on, we have to plan when we see each other. No more impromptu visits to the house, OK? I mean, Colleen could have been cleaning or, or anything. All right, all right, fine. Well, then, can we plan to see each other later? Lunchtime, maybe? All right. Good. Oh, my God. It's OK, all right? It's not a class door. I'll go out the back. I'll see you later. Text me when you want to meet up. Hey. Mecca, hi. Sorry to just drop in. Is it still cool if I grab Saturday's in the job section? Are you sure? I put it aside in the kitchen for you. I didn't interrupt anything, did I? Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> nice diversion. If something's wrong, you know you can talk to me, right? I may know what's going on. Hey, guys. You don't seriously think we're going to talk to you, do you? No, I know after what you did to Rick. Do you have any idea how he's feeling right now? Trust me, I know what that's like. I know he must be feeling awful, and I'm sorry for that. Sorry? That is such a cop out. You, like... you can't just rip someone's life apart and expect the same sorry he's going to fix anything. Well, that's not what I'm doing. Oh, look who it is. Unfaithful creep number two. Tell me, did you guys get together and swap notes on the best way to lie to people you're supposed to love? Just ignore it. Oh, that's right. Just ignore the problem instead of being honest and having the guts to face up to things for once in your life. No, you're pathetic, the two of you. I, you make me sick. I don't even want to... Right, okay, oh, that's enough, that's enough. All right, everyone start moving to class, please. Let's go. Guys, it's a time and a place for everything, but school isn't it for your private life, OK? Yeah? Thanks. Let's go to class. Bell is going to hate me. What happened, Amanda? I mean, last time we spoke, he said you knew nothing could happen between you and Drew. I know. I know how stupid this is. It's more than stupid. It's, it's totally insane. Then why are you doing it? I honestly don't know. I wish I could explain it. I wish I could turn it off. There's just something about the way I feel when I'm around him. Look, every part of me is wrong it is. I'm just drawn to him. You're drawn to him. I know how silly it sounds. It's just the only way I can describe it. At first, I thought I was just flattered by the attention. But it's more than that. It's... Oh, my God. What am I doing? How do I get myself into these messes? You do seem to have a pretty good knack for it. What am I going to do? All you can do. Stay away from him. I can't. I've tried that. So, what? You just continue to see him behind Belle's back? It's not going to work. You'll hit the fan in the end, trust me. Look, um, I'm the best person to be preaching about what's right and wrong. Not after the last few months, anyway. But I do know how hard you've tried to build your relationship with Belle. She means the world to you, I can tell. Are you really willing to risk losing her? <laughs> hey, do you reckon Mr. Jones will give us an extension to that geography assignment? If we explain all the stuff that's been going on. Oh, well, you've got to let it go. Oh, every time I think about it, it makes me so angry. If you keep obsessing about it, you're going to drive yourself crazy. No, I'm not obsessing. No, I'm not. I'm... I just want to know who the other person is. Yeah, and what difference is that going to make? I'm going to see her. Oh, Belle. Maybe if I follow him, I can find out who she is. That's perfect. It's loopy. It's smart. It's talking. You always have to have an answer for everything. Yes, I do when I see a mate losing it. Like you're one to talk. You were the one who followed Dean that time to find out what he was up to. Yeah, look where that got me. Yeah, it got you the truth. Look, Belle, you've got to trust me, OK? Sneaking around after Drew isn't the way to go about this. And besides, it's not like finding out who the other person is is going to make this big difference on you. It's not going to make your life any easier. You've got to move on. Promise? Promise. Good. Well, um, I've got to go to the toilet, so I'll be
of the afternoon, so I'm just going to go home and work on the timetables. Sure. Great. All right. I'll see you later. Maybe I'd get some work done here. Have I done something to upset you? Why would you say that? I don't know, you're just acting weird towards me or something. So? Oh, I just think maybe I'm a bit disappointed, that's all. About what? Well, it's, it's barely been a month, Martha. And look, I, I know it's none of my business, but for you to be with Brad so soon after him, what? what? his apartment this morning. And look, like I said, it, it's none of my business, but Brad is very vulnerable at the so moment. Like stop. Brad and I, we weren't together last night. You weren't? No, it's not. Brad and I just had a few drinks. Well, a few too many. And I ended up getting really sick. After the way I carried on last week about Jack doing the same thing, I was too embarrassed to come home. Brad let me stay at his house. So nothing happened at all? No, as if I'd do that. I'm, I'm really, I'm really sorry, Martha. Just ignore me. Forget that I. Think. So where did that come from? You know, it's not like you to jump to conclusions. Yeah, I've got. I don't know. I'm, I've been way out of line. Please forgive me. Yeah, of course. Thanks. I'm just gonna go have a quick shower. Hey, has day got any better? Um, not exactly. Who did that? I don't know. Take your pick. Pretty much everyone hates my guts. Well, not me. Thanks. Hey, what about you? Did your day improve after Bell's hissy fit this morning? Yeah, lunchtime wasn't too bad. And I've got a feeling this afternoon's going to get even better. Martha, hey, what are you doing here? Looking for Brad. Do you know where he is? Yeah, in that classroom. Hey, just me. Hey, what are you doing here? Um, well, it's about Sal, actually. I'm not sure if I should even be saying anything, but you said at lunchtime how you hate things being so weird between you. 